Landed. Landed. I don't know Landed. what to say right now. Man, great hunt this morning. He's down. He's down. You suck. Well guys, it is finally sweet November, and our November started off with a bang. Uh, we, Dad goes out, and we had a buck daylight. Buck is, I mean, it's a giant, it's huge. And Dad goes out, he's sitting in the stand, it's kind of starting to get dark, and he looks over, it's right at dusk, and he sees a big rack coming through the woods, and that deer comes right in, he draws back, shoots it, it takes off, you'll get to see the recovery. Um, it ended up not being the giant uh, that Dad thought it was, but it was one of the bucks that we've never had history with. We've never seen, we had no pictures of. We didn't know anything about this deer. So it's pretty cool, he shows up, it's November, they're rutting, they're chasing does. He shows up, Dad makes a perfect shot, and this deer piles up. He unfortunately didn't have the camera, but I went out there with my son, and we got the entire recovery uh, on video and it's pretty cool it was my son's first ever recovery so we're gonna jump straight into that but don't go anywhere because we've got a couple hunts for me and Grant and somebody else struck blood oh, we got the phone call tonight that every son wants to get when it is November and your dad is in the stand so dad went out first sit of the year and smoked a stud we got a couple bucks on camera uh, over the last couple days. We figured there was a hot doe in there. Dad went in there tonight and smoked one. So I was following along on the Blackgate cell camera at work and uh, I seen the buck come in with some does run off and then all of a sudden the pictures went completely blank and I immediately texted, did you just shoot one? And the text I got back was, yup, yep. real nice buck. He looked pretty <laughs> tall. So we're pretty uh, fired up, we're gonna go get him. We got Ob and Rhettman on his first deer retrieve. He's excited about it. We're gonna get out in the field and uh, go get this buck. What, they All broke right. it? We just yeah. got the arrow. Looks yeah. like it buried in here. Looks like it's pretty good. Oh, she's full of blood. Full of blood, blood and bubbles. The old Grim Reaper doing the work. The old Grim Reaper. Tree stand, right there. Yeah, tree stand is right there in that tree line. Not yeah. Not about a 20 yard shot. Though. Slightly forward yeah. away, he broke it. The other end is lighted knocks over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're at Paul. That's what we're looking for. I think we got him. Rhett man, what do you think, buddy? I we got we go get that him. deer. Ah. What? You see that look at that green knock. Ah. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> All right, let's look for him. So. I know he ran this way. Got some good blood. He's bleeding like stuck hog. Dad's he, he circled around that way. Dad's thinking that he's in this back field. So we're gonna go probably check that and uh, see if we can't find him. Alright guys, we just entered the field. He's dead. Right up there. Red doesn't see him yet. Let's go get him. Come on! Go get him, buddy. Yeah. Come on. Go get him. Go get him. I knew he didn't go far. You coming? Bye. There's a light. Right here. Right here. Hey, Rhett, look up. See that deer in the there field? He is. <laughs> he oh. straight up. <laughs> you want to race? Yeah. Oh. Look at that big deer, Rat Paul. Ray. Look at that deer. Rat Paul, look. Oh, oh he's stiff. Oh. Broke it? Yeah, don't grab that broad head. Broke Rat. it? Rat, look at that deer. Rat Paul. Oh, God. Broke it? Mama. <laughs> what? Hey. Broke it? Rat, Rat what do you think Broke about that deer? Hey, come here and touch these antlers. Broke 
Look at these. Get that Come deer, here, touch him. Grab a hold of him. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you get him? You got him? He's Look more interested in the arrow. He's, 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 he's fixated on that broken Look arrow. Right. Nice buck, Dad. Yeah. I'm happy. Heck yeah. I'm happy. Big old tall, what is he, a 10? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a, right here's a kicker. A dagger on the front? A little front dagger. Heck yeah. Bucket. Great buck. He didn't go very far. Grim Reaper strikes again. He says the Grim Reaper strikes again. For, hey, first set. First time I've been out this year. That's cheating, ain't it, Hunter? That's cheating. That is cheating. So what happened? Give us a play-by-play. -play. Hey, give me knuckles. Nice. Yeah, it broke my arrow. Oh, you can go get the green light. Give us a play-by-play, -play, Pops. Well, how'd it go? Green light. Don't let him get that broadhead. <laughs> he ain't listening to the word I'm saying. I'll get it in a second. I just don't want him to get that. Oh, uh, yeah, first set of the year. Um, is this light bad? No, you're fine. Uh, you got the light. First set of the year. We had a uh, buck's been getting crazy. I mean, it's it's November 9th, so it's go time in Ohio. But uh, had does coming in, had a uh, seven pointer come in, bumping a doe. A yearling came in, a button buck came in, and then yeah, it's broken. <laughs> yeah, you got blood all over your hands. Fred doesn't know what to think I love about it. it. Next generation, uh, and then. Three or four good does come out of the back corner and they circled around this Nine. way. Well, they circled around behind Nine. me and I couldn't see them. Nine. So then, what, bud? Oh, Nine. yeah, Pap got it. That's okay. Blood. Yeah, blood. That's blood. okay. Blood. <laughs> Raised right. Uh, and they come around and they circled out this way. They, they don't normally do that, but that <laughs> little seven pointer, he was still over by me. Well, when they circled back blood. around to come through, they were coming back around yeah, through. And when blood. he seen him, he started grunting and ran. And they took off and he took off with them. Well, then a yearling come up Bordy. through the thing, and I'm sitting there watching Bordy. her come up through the draw, and she crossed the Bordy. creek. And, yeah. Bordy. Oh, you need some water? <laughs> yeah. We'll get some. And, uh, uh, all of a sudden I heard running in the field, Bordy. and I was like, oh. So then two good does come up, and I thought, oh, well, and I heard him behind her. He was, mar, mar, mar. I was like, oh, that's seven pointer. He's, he's still bunting them. You want it? No. Okay. Blood. And when he got a little closer, blood, it was blood. you know it was dusk and daylight Bucket. was starting to fade pretty good. And Bucket. when he got a little bit closer, Bucket. I was like, oh, good buck, good buck, good buck. Bucket. I was like, I, I seen his tines, Bucket. and he circled back around Bucket. behind her, and I didn't have Bucket. much time to think. Yeah, he, right here, he broke it. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. One, it did its job. One two. One two. There's two arrows now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. It's got blood on it. Oh. oh. Anyway, I had Two. literally, you know, I knew he was with a buck, or I knew he was with a doe, and I knew blood. she was going to take off, and he was probably blood. within eight to ten blood. yards of her, and he was in my shooting Ew. window, and I drew back. I saw tines. I put it, he was quartered away hard. That's why you see, and I was pretty close to him, so high and back. I was a little, I was probably aiming right about here, so. A little bit higher than I would have wanted to, but hey, he didn't. He didn't go very far. Like I said, uh, I saw him circle around that way, and then I lost track of him. Uh, but we're tagged out in Ohio. First set success. First set. I'm done. I don't have to sit in the snow this year. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> and there's all still it. an absolute <laughs> monster out here, and I'm sure uh, Junior behind the camera is just fine with that. <laughs> yes, I am. Heck of a deer. Got on your hands. Heck of a deer. So we'll uh, we'll get after. I'll get out some does now, and I'll probably be a full time cameraman for a junior. And uh, we'll get this one cut up and processed and put in the freezer, and we'll be eating deer steaks. Rep Paul, Rep Paul, come give me knuckles. Give Pat knuckles. Come here and give me knuckles. Ah, oh, can I get a squeeze around the neck? Can I get a squeeze around the neck? Ah, oh. all right. Let's take care of him. Well guys, we just got in here and got set up. It's about 2.30, 3 o'clock, somewhere in between there. I had to hang this stand. I came in here the other day and I got all my sticks set up and 
I just brought my stand in here and I got it hung up. This is a new permission piece uh, that we picked up a little bit ago. And actually, I just climbed up. I looked over my shoulder and there was a spike uh, just walking the top of this ridge. So we've got a, a marginal wind, but I think it's gonna work out really good for tonight. I'm in a big giant oak tree, there's oaks all around. So I really got a feeling that these deer are just gonna work these ridges and they're gonna feed these oaks. Hopefully we can either catch a buck cruising or we can get uh we can get a couple does in here and a buck follows them in. So we'll see what happens. I got high hopes for tonight. It's like November 11th or 12th, I think. Let's look. November 11th. So definitely cruising, definitely the rut. That spike was looking pretty good. He kept walking and just looking around, looking for does. So hopefully we get a big one to come in here and do that and do it inside a bow range. So. Dude, dude, tell me you just smoked him. I just, I've, I've never seen him before. He's probably, he's probably close to 140 inch eight point. Oh, dude, let's go. He, I looked up. He came across the field. He was grunting. Came straight 20 yards away. There was hard to do. He didn't make it out of the field. He's down. Oh, let's go, dude. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Dude, he's a stud. Dude, did you see, did you send me a picture? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, is that him going down? Oh, he's down. He's down. Dude, let's go. Holy crap! Dude, he looks huge. Dude, I've never seen, I've never had a picture of this buck. Dude, he came. Did, did you, did you, you film any of it? I, I didn't get it. Dude, it, it happened it, literally within 10 seconds. Do you have your camera or no? No, I don't even have my camera. Oh, dang it. I know, dude, because I... Dude, either way, who cares? That's a freaking giant. Dude, I, I literally looked across the field and he came out. Dude, he was grunting, came right in, dude. I drew, I held my draw for about... You know, 30 seconds, came right in, dude, turned sideways, heart punched him, dude. He literally, he literally ran like 70 yards. He got down the field. Oh, dude, let's go. That's so awesome. Fucking go, dude. Are you guys going to hunt the rest of the, uh, the rest of the night? Yeah, I think, so. I, think uh, I think Paul wants to, I'll call him and see what he wants to do, but he got to do, he saw it go down. He could see my... He could see where it came in. He watched the whole thing. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. <laughs> dude, that's so awesome. Dude, I'm so jacked up, dude. Why? I that's saw, a freaking uh, rap, baby. I saw your text. You were like, giant coming. And I'm like, dude, no way. He's going to kill this thing. And then you just, and then I seen the text. It was like, it's down. I was like, no shot. <laughs> How long did that happen? Let, let me see. Let me see. Dude, it I had to be said, five minutes, giant. not even. Giant come my way 438, and he's down at 440. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, heck yes. Um, dude, I tell you what, if you guys hunt at the end of the night, do you want me to come out and do pictures, or do you just want to bring him to my house? Oh, e either way, dude. I mean, there's not much of a track job to do, so. Can we can we drive the truck all the way to him because the beans are picked? Uh, you, no, no, dude, because they just got a... The farmer just got a big, giant load of big rocks, and he put it right in the middle of the pinch point. Oh, like uh, yeah, 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 got gotcha. you. You can't drive. You can drive through the pinch point, but you can't drive in this back field. Heck yes. So, <laughs> dude, I'm so freaking <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome. I'm so pumped for you, dude. Two years in a row, two giants. Dude, I, I think it's close to 140. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I only have to see him for a little bit, but it's a good size eight. Oh, dude, he's a big eight for sure. I mean, look at him in the picture, dude. That's like 150 yards away. You can see him. Yeah, that's a big eight pointer. <laughs> Let me get off here and call Paul and see what he wants to do. And I'll let you know, but All at right. minimum, we'll bring it. We'll bring it to your house for pictures for sure. Okay. Okay. I'll see you later, dude. Congrats. Hey, thanks, brother. Get one. You get one yourself, dude. Dude, I'm gonna try. Alright, I'll see you. See you, dude.
guys, we just got the call from Landon. Big buck down. I'm so pumped for him. He texted in the group chat. It's just me and my dad, Grant and Landon. And he said, giant coming my way. And the next picture I get was the picture of him laying in the field. Yes, so pumped. So pumped for him. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm gonna finish out my night and then we are definitely gonna go see this deer. Whether he brings it to the house or we gotta go out there in the field and get it, but I'm so jacked for him. November 11th, bucks are rutting, they're moving. Hopefully we get one to move by us. That's so awesome. Talk about a crazy hunt for me. Having that buck come in right at last light, being at full draw, not being able to get the shot. I was hoping that right when he would turn, I would be able to get the shot. I just unfortunately couldn't make it happen. He wheeled out of there pretty quick and started chasing a doe. Uh, but as you guys saw, my phone rang and you guys heard the conversation, Landon scored, and we're gonna jump over to when he shows up at my house with his buck. All right guys, we uh, got it done here, here in Ohio. Um, was a crazy day for me. Um, I've been fortunate enough the past few years to uh, tag out early, so I haven't really been able to uh, hunt a lot during the rut. This year it worked out perfectly. Um, this morning I had a sit uh, at one another farm down down more south in Ohio um, and had the best sit of, of the year by far. Um, saw a lot of bucks moving. So um, from my opinion, I think they've been locked down a little bit lately, and uh, for some reason today it seemed like they were starting to split off and search for that second, second set of does. So, um, Went out today, got in the blind about two o'clock, had a couple yearlings and button bucks come through, um, wasn't seeing anything mature. Looked across the field at about 4.40 and uh, saw a dark body moving through the through the timber and I knew I knew it was a buck. I didn't know how big. Um, put my binoculars up and looked and saw him. Came out, mouth open, grunted, came directly across the field. I'm hunting a little finger that 
that reaches out into the field a little bit, so it's like a natural travel corridor. And he came right in, hugged it about 30, 35 yards, drew back. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was shaking like a leaf. I could barely get my bow back. Um, got it, drew back, and, and made a great shot. He actually didn't make it out of the field. So um, he's not, not my biggest buck, but there's never going to be a time, I hope, in my life that I'm ever going to pass a buck like this. He's got a scarred up ear, scarred up nose. He's been fighting, and I have no history with this deer, so it's just one of those those rut deer that disappear out of nowhere. And, and you know, he might have came through once today and never seen him again. So, super jacked up, super blessed. Now I'm beyond excited for the rest of the rest of the guys to get on one, and hopefully this is one of a, a couple more that fall this week.